Hi, this is Robert Height, President and CEO of the Glendale Chamber of Commerce. I'm here today to talk with a few of our restaurant partners here in the community to find out what they're doing, how they're taking uh, precautionary measures to keep you safe in our new dine to go options. Um, so we're going to hear from them in just a few moments. But before we do, I just want to thank you for your support. Um, you know, this is a, a tough place we find ourselves in. Um, we're working collectively together. Our chamber team is uh, taking this matter very, very sa safely as well. We're all working from home remotely um, and we're reaching out to the business community. Um, while we may be a member member-based organization, we're reaching out to all businesses, whether they're a member or not, because right now we need to band together, work collectively um, as we look to come out of um, kind of this stay-at-home order and get back to some sense of normalcy. So I hope you enjoy hearing from a few of our restaurant uh, owners today on what they're doing, and thank you for supporting not only the Glendale Chamber, but all business here in the city of Glendale. Hey John, it's Robert here from the Glendale Chamber. Um, I think Manuel's is definitely a favorite within our community. Um, I thank you for taking some time to join me. So first and foremost, tell me what's going on. Sh share with me what, what's your what's what's happening in your world. Oh, our world is topsy turvy right now. Uh, you know, with the uh, governor's order to shut down all of the uh, restaurants as far as uh, the dining rooms, uh, we're still a uh, we're still able to provide takeout, curbside deliver and delivery. Uh, but that has put a, a big crunch in our ability to, uh, first of all, keep our employees working. I mean, we have some working, but uh, it uh, we've had to furlough quite a few of them. And uh, we're just hope, hopefully trying to get through this uh, COVID-19 problem that we're having. and get back open so we can get these people back to work and, and, you know, providing for their families and provide for our family as well. So. No, you're, you're not alone, my friend. I think there's a lot of, oh, yeah. a lot of folks in your industry are really trying to adapt to kind of the new way of doing business. What would you say in this new wave of going to the curbside and dying to go, what's been the biggest eye opener for you as a restaurant operator owner of um, kind of the way you do business? Um, never mind that the customers aren't there, but behind the scenes, the things that we don't actually see, uh, what's been that big eye opener for you perhaps? Well, it's been mostly a big adjustment period. I mean, we were used to ordering so much more. So we've had to learn to adjust to, you know, control our inventories a lot tighter, uh, order a lot less because our volume is a lot less. And, you know, to keep the product fresh and keep, you know, everything, you know, good for our customers. Uh, so that was a little bit of a learning curve. It took us about a week and a half to get, you know, through all of that. And, you know, some stuff, that was that we would end up giving to our employees so they could take you know some extra food stuffs that we have so they could take and feed their families and uh, but we got we got on top of things and we also had to order a lot more product for you know bags and pans to go pans and things like that uh, which uh, we weren't used to doing that and so you know we were running to the supply store because <laughs> we were running out of stuff because a lot of our business shifted from you know dining room stuff to to-go stuff. So it was a little bit of a learning challenge, but I mean, you know, uh, necessity is a mother of invention. You just, uh, you adapt, well, you know, and, that, and we're good at adapting. I was gonna so. say, you, you've, you're a long time um, expert in this industry. So this isn't your, you know, you're not you're in your first year, you definitely um, uh -huh. probably adapt fairly quickly. You know, one of the things I think with this, um, uh, crisis that we're facing, we have to change the way we're doing business. How are you working um, to keep your team there safely? Um, you know, what what are you doing differently, perhaps, than you didn't do a couple of weeks ago before this broke down? But then, with the dine to go option, how are you working to so we can tell your customers things are safe? You know, so we want them to come out and support you in the curbside pickup and dine to go. Well, first, first of all, the cleanliness portion and, and sanitization uh, is jumped up you know maybe 500 percent i mean we're continually wiping things with the uh the sanit sanitizer and you know just looking at what other restaurants are doing uh you know some places are they have a like a little pen holder for sanitary pens and they'll sanitize the pens and put them in uh you know the, the clean one and so they're do doing things like that uh wearing a lot more rubber gloves and you know keeping distancing better uh, you know, we're, we're trying to follow all of the things that the CDC is recommending. Uh, 
and, and as I, I still go to a lot of restaurants and unfortunately I have to get to go just like everybody else. So I'm looking to see what they're doing. And, you know, there's, and, and I have a lot of friends in the business that, you know, we're always keeping in contact with, and I was a member of the restaurant association for many, many years. And so I have a lot of friends there and a lot of old competitor friends that I used to uh, hang around with and, you know, uh, work with. Uh, so we were always on the phone with each other and talking about, you know, what they're doing, different ways of doing things. No, I think it's so, a, I think it's amazing, you know, in times like this where we band together um, as industries, as communities, and we come together, we learn from best practices. You, you touch on absolutely. something, and you are a, um, your family is a long time owner of of restaurants, and you've been involved for a long time. And while you're finding ways to adapt and overcome, some of the restaurants unfortunately did close and and aren't offering to dine to go, but they're looking at uh, maybe opening their doors up and giving it a shot. Is there any advice that you would share with any of those? peers of yours in the food and beverage industry, um, if they're going to open their doors up? I mean, I know it's not easy. You get up every day and it's a tough, tough battle to, to forge through, but any advice that you might offer out there? Well, you know, the, the advice that I can give you is what my dad used to tell me, you know, is save your money, honey. <laughs> That's, uh, because there's going to come a time that, you know, you're going to have a problem and you want to have at least, you know, five to six months worth of operating expenses. So when something like this does happen, you're not left hanging out to dry. And, you know, fortunately we did that. And, you know, we did have uh, quite a bit of reserves that we can, and we're using them up. <laughs> I mean, so that's the, that's the main thing. You know, a lot of people, they get in business and they start making a lot of money. And next thing you know, they're driving a new BMW or a Mercedes. And, you know, I'm still driving a Honda. So, <laughs> no, uh, you, that you know that's good advice. You know, as a chamber of commerce, and you've been a longtime partner of ours, and you've got um, such a rich history. Um, you know, those are some of the business lessons that we try to work with our partners on. Of you know, things are good today, and um, you know, we're all reaping the rewards. But we have to prepare our businesses and our models of business um, for storms. It's unfortunate this storm that we're weathering. We're going to come out of it, and hopefully, we come out of it stronger. But um, that's absolutely some good advice. Uh, you know, I think I think back to some of my uh, folks in my family and save save your money, honey. I think I might have heard the same thing. So uh, there's probably something said about the generation of your your, your father and others that uh, you know share that message of save your money, honey. Um, so that's good advice. You know, there one thing I think with this um, crisis that we're facing, there's been so many um, folks who have stepped forward and stepped up with acts of kindness and different things. Is there anything that you can touch on that you've seen um, that that, that touches at your heartstrings that you've witnessed that you could share out there with those folks that here in Glendale and, and beyond that are going to watch and tune into this? Well, it never ceases to amaze me, the uh, kindness of customers. We, we've, you know, we've been in business for almost 60 years. Um, and we have a lot of customers uh, for many, many you know, generations. Um, and I have never seen customers that have been more uh, charitable. I mean, they, their tips are bigger or they'll, they'll give, uh, you know, somebody will give a hundred dollar bill and say, pass it around the employees that are working. And uh, that just you know, really warms my heart. And when I go out to eat, I like to tip extra too, because I know that it's difficult. And I know there's a lot of people that are out of work that got displaced, um, especially the dining room workers, uh, the, you know, bussers and, you know, uh, we, we try to keep our cooks working and our management and things like that. And, we're using some of the food servers to help package up to-go orders, um, and, yeah, and and in Glendale, we've been pretty fortunate because that that store has been holding up fairly decent. With the, the ship from dining room to to-go has been uh, rather extraordinary, and um, really, uh, I really appreciate all of the people in Glendale that have supported you know our family and our family business over there. They've been just wonderful. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I, I just uh, want them to know that. And I really do appreciate the fact that they're being so generous with the tipping and helping because we're able to pass that on to our employees that are working. And, uh, and I know they appreciate it because they can afford to buy milk and diapers and all that <laughs> kind of stuff, to take care of their families. And uh, that's really, really important, especially to me. 
You, t so. you, t you touched on something I was going to ask you is how was the community responding? But I think of the restaurants that uh, the chamber team and I have been speaking to, um, are, you know, our community is stepping up and, you know, there's some still f some fear out there, but they're getting out there. They're supporting the restaurants. It's nice to hear that they're adding on tips. Um, you know, the restaurant industry, it, it can be very fun and challenging at the same time. Um, you know, I always joke and say, and I have a restaurant background from growing up and starting as a um, dishwasher and working my way up through my uncle's uh, place. But I will tell you, um, I think everybody should be a server at some point because they'd have a whole new appreciation for when they go out. And I think folks in the service industry um, get that. And that's why they are that way to one another and they try to take care of each other. Um, Absolutely. You know, as, as, a, as a business owner, as a family run business, um, you know, you, you're about that experience. You go in, you have your margarita, you have your, your beer, your chips, your salsa, you have some great Mexican food. Um, what are you looking forward to most um, as we get back to some sense of normalcy? Um, what, 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 is that, what does that look like for you, for John and family of the, of, you know, kind of Manuel's empire? What does that look like? Well, you know, we've always been in the, serve, you know, we have always been serving people and, uh, you know, we try to make people happy. You know, we, we love it when families come in and we, you know, we see the kids and they start out in the high chair and the next thing you know, we, they're with us and they're graduating from high school or bringing in their kids. And so, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to explain because it's just something that we do every day. And when you do it every day, uh, uh, you kind of think it's never going to end. And then something like this happens and you're like, whoa, you know, this is, uh, this is really, really bad. And, but man, Wells has been through a lot of things. I mean, we've been through the recession in 2008. We've been through 9 11. Uh, we've been through the recession in 1980 when, you know, all the banks closed down. And you know, we had lots of issues when we were trying to get financing to build this, the Glendale store. Uh, it was back in uh, around 1980. And that took me two years to get the, the funding and I remember going to banks and saying they're telling me well you know you haven't been in business long enough we were in business 25 years at that <laughs> point in time and I would look at the banker and I say well you know we've been in business longer than any bank in Arizona because at that time all of the banks had closed down and they were all you know all of the guys were moving in so he looked at me and he said well you're right <laughs> so I go well <laughs> you know, we've been through adversity before and We'll be through going through adversity again. That's just part of life. Yeah, you're, and, you're you know, right. If you just if you just you know hang in there and get through it, and save your money, honey, for a rainy day because we're in a rainy day right now. And you know, uh, that's you know the best advice I could give to anybody. And just you know, do the right thing. Be smart. Take care of your people. Take care of your health. Take care of your family. And you know, try to go on from there. So absolutely but we do so. now is there anything in your mind that i didn't ask you today just that you'd like to share out to the community i know your family has restaurants in and around um the area so not just in glendale um, but anything that you want to share out there and, and and let people know um for for not only you as as manuel's but also those that um you know are in the food and beverage industry anything that you want to share well, mostly it's just, like I said, we've been through adversity in the past and, you know, we will get through this, you know, we, we don't want to go crazy. Uh, if you could find me where to, if you could tell me where to find toilet paper, that would be really great. <laughs> <laughs> go to the grocery store. I can't buy paper towels and, you know, the shelves are barren. I think people are kind of just getting crazy. Uh, so I, I guess the thing that I could tell, you know, tell somebody is just mellow out, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, we're going to get through this and don't go hoarding and don't be doing crazy stuff. I mean, you know, if we all work together, we'll get through this, you know, and there'll be other things we'll have to get through in, in the future, but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out at the time. You're right. You know, that's what we do. We're human beings and we figure things out. Yeah. You know? You're right. We're resourceful. We're resourceful. You know, I don't expect the government to give you a handout and you know, uh, these things are, just as trying on the government as it is on us, you know, and, and uh, I have to give people in the healthcare industry that are, they're working their tails off and putting themselves in harm's way. I have to give them, uh, you know, my hats off to them and I, I pray for them and I wish, I wish them the best. Um, they're the heroes right now. You know, we're just serving tacos and enchiladas, <laughs> but they're saving, they're saving lives, you know, and right. so, uh, 
that's that's the thing that that I would want people to understand and realize and you know just pray for those people that are that are taking care of the sick and hopefully we can get through this and, and we'll all have tacos and margaritas and celebrate you know <laughs> well, when the time comes and you know when everything is that's right back. And, and we'll be there and you know we hope that we'll be there too well, we look forward to that, John. We absolutely do. I, I can't thank you enough for being, um, you know, a part of the Glendale Chamber. I can't thank you enough for choosing to keep your business here in Glendale. Um, you matter to us. You matter to our community. Um, you have an amazing family, an amazing rich history, um, you know, throughout uh, that region. Um, thank you very, very much. I know you've got a lot going on, um, you know, keeping those of your folks that are employed out there. Um, so, you know, with that, we're here to be of support as we can. Please don't hesitate to reach out, call, text, um, you know, but please know that we're, we're here. We want to see you succeed. And as this comes out of, we're looking forward to uh, coming over for some margaritas and some, some great uh, food and some, some great company. Um, and I, I can't we're thank you enough. To having you. <laughs> we're looking forward to having you and thank you so much. All right, John, give your, give your family a big hug from us and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, Glendale, thank you for uh, tuning in to watch and hear from uh, Dave, Zach, Leanna, John, and Jerry. Uh, we can't thank them enough. While we only chose four restaurants to feature, we've got an amazing lineup of restaurants and, and uh, food and beverage opportunities here in Glendale. So please check those out who are out there and supporting uh, their staff by staying open with Dine to Go options. A couple things that you should know, uh, the Chamber has been collectively working with our partner in the city on a number of things to show our support. Uh, first and foremost, the team at the Chamber worked on some um, infographics that actually show a listing of the restaurants, hours, times, what they're offering, and even specials. I'm amazed to see some of the specials that are out there. Um, so we're primarily focusing those uh, communication uh, efforts through social media. They seem to be working well. Um, and I got to give it to the city um, in economic development. Um, they work quickly to get red banners that dine to go, um, you know, out there for our restaurants, providing them at f no cost, free of charge uh, for restaurants to put uh, post up outside of their business. They could pick them up. Uh, there's some folks that are actually out there dropping them off. Um, another great way to let the community know um, that, that business is open um, and we want you to get out and support those restaurants. Um, another interesting one is the city took an initiative and created a website um, that actually pinpoints the restaurants. So this will actually show you all over Glendale all the different restaurants. You can click on it. You can learn a little bit more about that restaurant, uh, see how close it is to your home, uh, get out there, maybe you're been cooped up for a while, so a quick drive down down a, a couple miles to get something to eat might be, uh, but might be a nice treat for you and the family. Um, so definitely get out and support that. And if you are out uh, and driving, be safe. Um, but you'll also notice on those uh, signboards in and around our community that usually will tell you to slow down, it's our town, and be safe. Um, they're actually telling you about supporting our restaurants. Um, so, you know, while we know a lot of businesses are impacted and shuttered, um, for those that are open, we, we want to try to show our support. Um, you heard from a few folks what they're doing. They are taking some of the most amazing precautions to keep you safe and, and concerned with the freshness and making sure that you do have options um, um, so while your local supermarket may not have all the things that you, you fancy or you're looking for, we definitely got an amazing uh, lineup of restaurants here in Glendale. Um, so with that, I just want to thank you for your support of the Glendale Chamber. If there's anything we can do, we are here to help you. We are your partner in business. Um, we are a partner in our community and you do matter. And one final thank you is we couldn't have done this without our partners here at Sneaky Big. So thank you so much for your support and pulling together the amazing technology to make this all happen. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're a great community partner and we couldn't do it without you. So please stay safe at your, with your loved ones, keep your distance, wash your hands, and we can't wait to see you soon. Thanks much, have a great day.